In June 2010, coinciding with the World Cup in South Africa, my wife Candace and I went on our first African safari. It was the first time we would set foot on the African continent, and we were beyond excited. The property we chose to stay at was Singida Boulders Lodge in the Sabi Sands Game Reserve. And what's interesting about Singida is how they describe their guest experience. They say, guests leave a Singida safari being transformed for a lifetime and having made a contribution to the legacy of Africa. So they don't just talk about what it's like to arrive or the on-property experience or all their amazing food and wine. They pay attention to talk about what it's like to leave, which is very peculiar. So we walked into our suite at Boulders, and this is one of the first things that I noticed inside the suite. I took, I took a picture of it. It was a small handwritten note uh, with a quote from Nelson Mandela. And it says, there is nothing like returning to a place that remains unchanged to find the ways in which you yourself have altered. So this small gesture started planting two seeds, two very specific seeds in my mind, an inception, if you will. Number one, that I would return. And number two, that I would leave the property having experienced change. And a survey of some TripAdvisor reviews show how others describe their time on Singita properties as well. And many of them use the term life-changing. And many of them use language that is very, very deeply emotional. This individual said, Honest, honestly, I could go on forever about this. I cried when I left both lodges. It was life-changing. So what's going on here? How can we explain this type of phenomenon? How is Singita able to engage and make these deep emotional connections? What is it about being human that makes this work? So there's a number of unique characteristics of homo sapiens, of, of modern day humans. The first, we use imagery and decoration as a form of self-expression. No other species does this. We create specialized tools to complete specialized tasks. No other species does this. We celebrate our ancestors. We create rituals like decorating burial grounds. No other species does this. We decorate our, our home spaces to give ourselves a sense of order and peace. No other species does this. We create networks and venues for commerce so that we can buy and sell and trade with others, oftentimes complete strangers. No other species does this. But most likely, the unique human characteristic that drives engagement, like the one I experienced at Singita, is storytelling the power to tap into the human imagination and make one believe. So this idea is explored in a book called Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. I recommend it. I don't agree with everything that's in it, just PSA, uh, but it is worth a read for sure. And so he refers to this power of storytelling as the cognitive revolution. And the hypothesis is that homo, sapien, homo, homo sapiens' unique ability to tell stories is what enables us to engage at the individual level and at mass scale. So what about the story Singita started for me and my wife in 2010? Where did that end up? About returning to Africa and about my own transformation. Well, four years later, Candace and I returned to that property. Our lives enriched by many new life experiences and a deepened love for the African continent. That story came true. So here's what I want you to do. We have three incredible speakers lined up to tell you their stories of engagement. I want you to listen closely, and I promise they will capture your imagination and make you believe. 